Kevin Harvick trying to hold off Jeff Gordon for the win. Gordon is down low. Harvick is up high, side by side out of four. Harvick trying to hold on. Gordon races to his inside. They touch at the stripe. Kevin Harvick on the outside with a ghost of Dale Earnhardt looking on. Kevin Harvick pulled off one of the all-time upsets in NASCAR history. The fans in general have, it's been fun to hear their stories and people showing up at racetracks they've never been to before to see your race for the last time. When you take that all into perspective this year, for, for me it's been fun because I can let my guard down and, and listen to all these stories and tell stories. It's going to be a disappointing day for Kyle Busch and Jimmy Johnson, but not for Kevin Harvick. He comes off of turn four and no one will catch him. The chase begins at New Hampshire and Kevin Harvick wins. Awesome job. Been very fortunate to have a great career and win a lot of races and uh, go out on your own terms and, and you look back and they showed me a picture earlier, I think I was seven or eight years old and in my little leather go-kart jacket and sitting in my go-kart and, and, and they said, well, what would, what would this Kevin tell the Kevin of today? And I'm like, I have no idea because that Kevin was having way too much fun and didn't give a crap about what all the things that come with the, you know, the things that you do. Kevin Harvick will score the biggest win in his short career as he takes the 10th running of the Brickyard 400 at Indy. We had a heavyweight slugfest here at the end of Bristol and Kevin Harvick is going to be the winner. It's a 24-7 mindset in order to be good at it because in order to be good at it, you need to have your hands kind of in everything that's that's going on in order to have a pulse on, on when it's good and when it's bad. Kevin Harvick making a reservation for the championship four. He wins the AAA Texas 500 and has made his way to Homestead with a chance to win his second NASCAR Cup Series championship. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is slowing, coming out of turn number four. He is going to run out of gas. Kevin Harvick will win the Coca-Cola 600 as Dale Earnhardt Jr. comes up short. I saw all those guys up there racing. I knew how close we were on gas, but uh, it all worked out for a Budweiser Chevrolet. There's some sort of closure to, to be able to say, okay, here's what we're going to do for the last year, and when I get to this day, it's over. And there's just not too many that get to walk out on their terms, and I think being able to do that uh, that'll probably be the first time that I say I've actually made it because I got to end it. Kevin Harvick won his first race here at Atlanta Motor Speedway in a photo finish. He can't even see the second place finisher in his rear view mirror. He wins the Folds of Honor Quick Trip 500. Kevin Harvick looks like he's going to cruise to an easy win here today in Sonoma as he heads toward turn 11. It took him 17 tries, but he is now the winner of the Toyota St. Mark 350 here in Sonoma, California. I'm very lucky and there's no reason to hide it anymore, right? And, you know, be proud of, of being fortunate and, and, and successful and, and all the people have, have really been the ones to bring that out.